Howdy folks, welcome to part two of the outdoor living space, patio, etc. project. Uh, right now, what we're going to be working on is the flower bed over here. It's going to come out all the way to the edge of the patio, have some stepping stones that walk out through that area, over to where I think the fire pit is going to be, off on that side of the yard, and then we're going to put up some posts here uh, with hanging pots there and lights out in this area. So that's kind of the, uh, the part two. Wait, so you're just gonna dig this whole thing out? That we were I don't know. What do you think? And bring in a bunch of dirt? Oh, kids. Wait, wait, the After I dug like in my, my garden the little bit that I did, I'm just like, my next house, I'm gonna dig a five foot freaking ditch in my whole garden area. That's obnoxious. Could not believe. There was a concrete thingy like this, like going straight through the thing. I didn't even, I couldn't find the end of it. It was massive. I don't even know what it was for. I did. Abby cut it. Well, what I'm gonna do Ooh, is can, get a I saw whole collection. <laughs> is it supposed to be like a wolf? I, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do with this sod that I'm digging up is I'm gonna put a culvert in the ditch and use. I'll tell this you what I'd do with the sod. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this sod to build a bridge That's over funny. the marsh that right. goes all the way around my yard. Put a culvert down in there, dirt, I I and make a it. nice yeah, grass so bridge. It's gonna be, oh. uh, say this. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get hit. maybe some hail. Really? Oh, Maybe it's starting now? now? I thought that was supposed to be like in the middle. No, no, in about 10 minutes. This storm's gonna hit. Dang it. Really? Yeah. Well, it's right there. to be That's continued. Coming, that, that right there's coming at us. Well, that storm was indeed a doozy. Um, I got a little bit more digging done the next day. It's two days later, and I'm gonna continue on the backyard living area project, whatever I'm calling it, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna dig holes to put posts up. We're gonna put posts on either side uh, to do hanging plants. I think I already talked about this and then lights out here. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing right now is digging some holes for posts. So when you Google it, the Quickcrete website will tell you that the hole is supposed to be three times as wide as your post. So I'm using a four by four, so theoretically this is supposed to be 12 inches wide. Uh, you're also supposed to go one third to one half as deep as your post. I think we're looking at something like eight foot, seven or eight foot high for the posts. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go two and a half feet deep. Again, I'm not the how-to person. I'm just gonna do it how I think is good enough and you can all watch me fail miserably when it all goes terribly wrong. But it's also not like this post is gonna be holding a ton of weight. Like I said, maybe like a hanging flower, um, some little string lights. So anyway. Getting on down there, I'm at about a foot and a half. My uh, thinking is if I go two feet, I got 10 foot posts. If I go two feet down, then I guess I don't have to cut them off the top. Okay, so I think I'm down about two feet. I want to go two feet below the pavers here because if we leveled this out, we know that the pavers are Eh, close enough to level then if I'm two feet below the pavers, which I think is about perfect actually and hang on. Hey. And 
Yeah, I think we're golden. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit over two feet. I'm like two foot one inch. So I could uh, let the let the uh, quick creek go a little bit under the post and bring it up an inch and be golden. We're in business. Well, we put in some hard work and uh handful of man hours on this project but I think it turned out really really well I'm happy with it and uh, I gotta give a big shout out to my wife like I said before I think in the last episode in part one I was saying that she's the one that had the vision for all of this and she's the one that's she's been wanting something like this ever since we moved in here really she always wanted the patio to be bigger and I was uh, pretty resistant because I didn't want to have to mow around it but I think it turned out really really nice and already it's only been up for what a week I guess or I guess the patio the actual paver patio part has been here for a couple weeks and we've gotten a ton of use out of it uh, it is really a convenient spot for the kids toys to go because in the backyard I never like them sitting out on the grass but we put the uh, finishing touches all up on it and that really added a whole new element to the beauty of this backyard oasis of ours and uh, my plan is to eventually get a fire pit put in somewhere back here I've got a fire pit but it's it's a horrible spot I've got a, an area in my lawn that stays way too muddy and it's just not ideal for the fire pit at all because we never want to go through the mud to actually go have a fire out there. So if it's closer, somewhere we can actually get to, I think we'll use it way more often. And that, that's kind of the goal with this space is just to have a spot where we can come with the family and hang out, spend time together and be outside. We love being outside. Um, and so that's just kind of our big goal with this was to build somewhere we can spend time and, and make it easier to do that and more conducive to making the lawn fun again. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, it doesn't really feel very natural walking on it, but I'm not gonna mess with it anymore because let's be real, the wife is gonna move them anyway. And for good reason, she has much more of an eye for this design sort of thing than I do. I don't know what looks good and whatever, so I'm just gonna let her replace these uh, whenever she wants to. I did mention how the, the paver project, so the actual patio itself, uh, was sort of a free project because we got the pavers donated. They were my parents' and they weren't using them anymore. They were gonna throw them away. So we got those from them for free. Uh, I guess it was a little bit of an over-exaggeration because the the sand, the paver set, that polymeric sand wasn't free. We had to buy that. That was the only thing we actually had to buy for the patio itself. And then of course we bought these four by fours for the, the posts where we're hanging stuff. And then the hanging plants, you know, we, we bought some of that stuff. And the lights actually were a gift from uh, my wife's mom, mother-in-law tool, I guess, I think is what we've called her before. Um, so we already had those too, that was a gift. And so overall, it really was a cheap project for us. I know that not everybody has all these things sitting around just waiting to be used for them so um it turned out really well for us and, and we're loving it but uh i look forward to lots of evenings out here and uh, lots of you know midday parties whatever get togethers especially once all the social distancing stuff is over um just getting together and having a space to hang out with family friends and whoever wants to come and enjoy the lawn i guess that kind of wraps this one up though so uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh have a good one mm -hmm.